Hello intermediate students. Today we're going to be taking a look at the if function in Microsoft Excel. Uh, the if function will evaluate what has been typed into a spreadsheet cell and evaluate it with a certain criteria and return different results uh, depending on what you put in the cell. Uh, we're going to use the if function to create a quiz that the students can take that will give them feedback immediately whether they got the answer right or wrong. Now, I have already created my quiz here using uh, third grade anatomy uh, and formatted it with colors and uh, column width and row height and, and those things. You can do that already. Let's focus on the if function today. So what we're going to do is expect that a student is going to answer the question, what is the hollow space in the bone filled with? We're hoping they, they put the word morrow here in cell C4. And over here, we're going to give them some feedback uh, to tell them uh, if their answer was right or wrong. Uh, so let's begin. The if function, like all functions, begins with the equal sign. If is our function. And like all other functions, uh, the, the parameters are going to go in parentheses. Now, this is a little more complex than the formulas we've looked at so far. The if function takes three parameters rather than our usual single range. Uh, it will take a logical test, a value if they get it right, and a value if they get it wrong. So let's start with the logical test. In this case, we're hoping that they write an answer in cell C4, and we want that answer to be Morrow. So we're going to put C4 needs to equal the word Morrow. And if they get that right, we want to give them feedback. So this is the first part, the logical test. We're going to separate it from the other parts of the formula with a comma. So the second part of the formula is what happens if they get the answer right. Uh, well, we want some words to tell them that they did it correctly. So we're going to put those words again in quotes, uh, and that's going to be the words, a uh, good job. But not all the students are going to get it right. Somebody might get it wrong, so we do need um, uh, some words to, to uh, encourage them, but to let them know that in fact was wrong. So we're going to do a comma to separate it out to the last parameter, the value of false. And again, quotes, because we're going to be putting words. And here we're going to put, uh, please uh, try again. And that is going to finish off our formula. And let's test it to see if it works. So I hit enter. And you'll notice it's already giving me the value of false. Please try again. That's because this answer is blank. It does not equal the correct answer. So even if they don't put anything, it will give them the, the wrong answer feedback. So if they type the wrong answer, like maybe it's filled with error, that's not going to work. But if they type the correct answer, uh, it will give them positive feedback. They do need to get it exactly right, though. Otherwise, it won't give them the feedback. Let's try again. How many bones does the adult human have? And here we're expecting not a word answer, but a number answer, 206, by the way, uh, which is going to have a small impact on the formula. Uh, again, equals if. Uh, and for our logical test, we want uh, cell C6 to equal 206. C6 to equal 206. Now, I'm not going to put this value in quotes because it's not a word. It is a value. And that is something that Excel is expecting uh, values to be uh, not in quotes and words to be in quotes. Uh, again, we're going to have a value if it's true and a value if it's false. Uh, and because we got it right, we got the, the value of true. If we got it wrong, even if we're close, uh, it's going to give us the, the value to try again. So it's important to be very precise with your formulas. Uh, if you're asking a question like, um, what's the first, uh, what's the name of the first president of the United States? And you're expecting them to type George Washington, but they just type Washington or they type General George Washington. Uh, those would be considered wrong answers. So be very careful that you're phrasing your questions in a way that is, um, easy for them to get the right answer. This is the if formula. Uh, if this is confusing, I'll post a second YouTube video that you can check in uh, as well. Uh, have a good day.